good day viewers you are welcome how to solve this nice triangle questions so here is a nice geometry you want to find the minimum values of c given that we have this side as a and this side as b and the area here is given as seven the sum of a and the and b this equals seven so here i'm going to be presenting two methods to solve this actually i have like five methods of solving this but in this video i'm going to be showing you how to solve this question in two different ways so let's see the first method for the first method we are going to use pythagoras theorem method and as you know that the sum of a squared and uh, b squared this equals c squared the hypotenuse squared equals the sum of the opposite and the uh, adjacent then we know that a plus b here is given as seven that is from the given question then looking at this identity a squared plus b squared this is sum of two squared which we consider this as a plus b squared minus 2ab equals c squared so we all recall this sum of two squared and a plus b has been given as seven by replacing it here we have seven squared minus 2ab equals c squared we don't know a and we don't know b yet here we have 7 squared this gives us 49 minus 2ab equals c squared we have to start this and uh, we consider from the area of triangle the area of triangle is given as half b h that is half of breadth times height but the breadth and height here are given as a and b therefore we have a b divided by 2 which is the area of uh, area of this triangle suppose i call this area in our calculus if this area is given as f of a let's say f of a equals a we have to replace this as we have f of a we can still use f of b any one of the two so f of a is given as a but b here from that expression a plus b equals 7 we consider it as 7 minus a divided by 2 then we have f of a equals by opening this we are given we have 7 a minus a squared divided by 2 then let's obtain the first derivative of this by differentiating this we have f prime of a equals derivative of 7a it gives us 7 minus i will differentiate a squared we are going to have minus 2a all divided by 2 and at the turning point this f prime equals 0 and when f prime equals to 0 this shows that we are going to get the value of a here so when we cross multiply so 2 times 0 equals 0 then we have 7 minus 2a equals 0 for this we make a the subject of the formula as a equals 7 over 2 we have gotten the value of a and this is also the same thing as b a equals 7 over 2 and uh, b also equals 7 divided by 2 and since the value of a here is greater than 0 it's not negative we consider this as the minimum part and let's see the other part of this to obtain the maximum part of this we consider taking the derivative of this the second derivative then we have f prime prime of a equals a becomes when we try and uh, differentiate this for the second time so this one become zero 
and uh, we are going to have this as then we have this as minus one because when we differentiate a that gives us one and we have minus two here divided by two that gives us minus one here this is less than zero and that we consider it as maximum so the maximum we don't need it here because we said we'll find the minimum so uh, so far we are finding the minimum this means that we are going for a so since we are going for a then we now consider from where we let where we have seven squared minus two a b equals c squared therefore our c minimum for the value of a and b which has been gotten to be seven over two then this is c c squared minimum equals seven squared that is 49 minus two times a and b here that is seven over two multiplied by seven over two then we have c minimum squared equals 49 minus this cancel this then 7 times 7 that gives us 49 over 2 by finding the lcm here we are going to have c squared minimum equals this also gives us 49 over 2 and by taking the square root of both sides we are going to have c minimum equals square root of 49 that gives us 7 over root 2 so 7 over root 2 is the minimum value of c this is the first method and let's see the second method of solving this by solving this using method 2 in the same question given that a plus b equals 7. Let's solve this using Cauchy Swell's inequality as it is displayed on the diagram on the screen. So you can solve this using Cauchy Swell's. According to this diagram, we are going to consider the two sides here, which is, you know, let's say we are giving a squared plus b squared so this equals c squared and we have according to that diagram let's say we say a times a plus b times one all squared so this is less than or equals to a squared plus b squared then multiply by one plus one so we can just say this is squared and this is also squared then a plus b a times one that is a plus b times one we have b all squared so this is less than or equals to a squared plus b squared then multiply by this is two but a plus b it has been given to be seven then we have seven squared less than or equals to a squared plus b squared this is the result of c squared and multiply by two then let's say we divide both sides by 2 here. We're now going to have c square, which is greater than or equals to we have 49 divided by 2. And taking the square root of both sides, we are going to have c greater than or equals to. For this, we are going to have plus or minus 7 over root 2. Well, we are dealing with the minimum, which means we consider the positive part of this. And therefore, the C minimum is greater than or equals to 7 over root 2. So we solve this using Cauchy Schwarz inequality. So this is how to solve this. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video. Any comments, any additional uh any other method, we can drop it in the box. See you in the next class. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.